actually recorded for transmission on both the Berlin Cable Television Access Channel, YouTube, uh, and YouTube. Your voice, image, and or telephone number may be recorded. Okay. What are we going to do for us? Minutes? Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Oh, I guess we could do roll call. Hmm. Um, that's on my other secret paper right here. This is Kevin Pond, Chair of the Board of Assessors, permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me prior to me calling the meeting to order. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Bev Wheeler. Here. Roger Bradley. Here. Staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Molly Reed. Here. And Joanne Oinku. Here. Okay. With Here. a quorum of the board, I call this meeting to order at 6.01 p.m. on what is this? Monday, June, June 12, 12, 2022. Three. We're good. All right. So we I see no guests in so we have no public comment. Okay. So you want me to read the minutes? I think well, we could start with that. Okay. <clears throat> So you called the meeting to order at six. We were in the town building. We were all here and Kristen Rubin, the town administrator was here. Peter Kaufman, yeah. Peter Hoffman um, talked about as public comment, talked about mixed use property and what took place. And the board agreed that they were not going to change their original abatement decision. Um, at 6.15, the town administrator, we had a discussion about posting the assessing director job. The board, of, the board voted to approve the job description for director of assessing and the property lister. The vote was 3-0. Discussion took place on posting the director of assessing job posts, how to handle the resumes received. Kristen stated that for the town, the treasurer collector job opening, there was a five person search team that consisted of the administrative finance team and a select board person. Kevin stated that board review. Kristen stated that due to open meeting procedures that there would be a search team to do the initial review and to bring the finalists to the board. Kevin vo voiced a thought of hiring a vendor a review of, and Kristen was gonna do a review of chapter 30B to see if we would have to go out for a bid. Molly will attend the personnel board meeting with the approved job descriptions and the job posting for approval. Due to timing, the board agreed that the approval of the job posting by personnel will be posted. Um, you approve the minutes from April 24th the correspondence was uh, FEMA insurance rate map, DCR, which is Department of Conservation and Recreation, notice of watershed payment, DLS, notice of property tax event, uh, exemption approval, and city town evolving, was on evolving, evolving government structure. Um, I updated you that um, DLS is doing their third year check-in for the five-year update on the directives. Um, all right, third, I'll just, third year directive check-in discussed with advisor. We are on track for cyclical. Kevin F asked if the cyclical was one fifth per year. The goal is to finish this round by 2026 when the reval will be and then going forward it would be on a five-year cycle near map renewal new account rep is nick casey we are setting up a review meeting with him calendar events 
I told you that Joanne was doing a Zoom meeting from Vision on sketching and that I was gonna go to the annual summer conference. Um, the week of the, starting the 20th that I had a scholarship to attend and that Maureen had gone to the Worcester County clerks meeting and she said it was very good and glad she attended. You signed minutes, accounts payable, tax deferral certificate, month ending excise, commitment 2023, number two and number three, excise abatements, the near map renewal and payroll. Um, the next meetings were June 12th, which is today and the 26th, and we adjourned at 7.20 p.m. Okay, anybody note any errors or omissions in the minutes? If not, we'll take a vote. All these, those in favor of the minutes as written, say aye. Aye. Okay. All right. Um, so that's good. Okay. Um, uh, I'm just going to ask Joanne, are you here for something or you want to stay to our whole meeting, so to speak, or you just have <laughs> something to say and you want to be on your way or I don't, I mean, I don't know. I'm in no I, rush today. Okay. <laughs> Good. I, right. I asked you to come just in case there's lap, you know, lag time and so that she would be familiar with doing the meeting, if that's who you're going to choose to help you do Zoom meetings or in-person meetings. Okay. And and also talk about, um, well, do you want to do it now? Oh, we'll just go down the agenda as it is. Okay. I I was just wondering if she was in a hurry, we would hear what she has to say and, but you can stay, glad <laughs> to stay if you want. Okay. You wouldn't want to miss this, you know? No, I wouldn't want to miss this. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Whatever this is. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay, so. so the May building permits, the Worcester County Registry of Deeds is no longer going to snail mail us stuff. They're going to email us our um, paperwork. So that's a big progress for them. The MAO spring newsletter, we got a bunch of stuff from DLS. Data analytics and cherry seat sheet redesigned um there was also an article on this in the city and town um single audit findings the city and town redesign um state-owned land valuations for this year there's no change from last year so we're all the same um financial forecasting in your community and we got an the most towns are quarterly tax billing. So VADAR does an update. And I, I had Joanne, well, we all did it, but Joanne and um, Maureen listened to them just so that they would know what was going on when the time comes to do tax billing. They would know the players and who to call and whatnot if there was any issue. I'm, I'm trying to, anything that, I think they're going to need to know about. I have them do it. And I've also, most of my emails are now tagged to assessing so that there's a trail. Okay. Um, there was a, a Supreme Court decision based, uh, so it was for public comment policy and civility restraint. And the outcome was, is that although civility can and should be encouraged in political discourse, the court wrote, it cannot be required. There was a town of 
why can't, why isn't it just jumping right out at me? So what, what is that telling us? Help me. Well, with that. I guess there was a there was a town in Massachusetts, because it's the SJC from Massachusetts, that it required people couldn't be non-civil. <laughs> so if anybody started to raise their voice or get into fisticuffs, they were thrown out. And a person who got shut down prior to her. Um, Southboro was the town of Southboro. So the select board, I guess, at their meeting said that if you can't be civil, don't bother talking. And this woman brought it to the SJC and she won. So you can't, you can't, re it can't be required. It can only be asked that people in a public meeting be civil be and polite, <laughs> be polite and civil and not um okay so i guess i can stay on the board then yeah <laughs> good all right there's a new at town meeting this year they adopted the muni affordable trust housing trust it's a new board and there's five members appointed to it from the select board and then there's also the housing partnership. And so I'm telling you this because they're probably gonna be asking the assessor's office for a lot of information on housing stock and, and things. So I just wanted you to be aware that that's now a, depending how it works out, it might be a, another time suck out of the office. And I, got another update from our DLS advisor that um, we have to submit our omitted revised assessments and amended new growth. We don't have either of those. But the other thing in this is that um, they're not going to allow board members to do a group email like assessors that you're going to have to use your own email addresses or in light of that I can ask the town if they can assign you town emails but you know how we you go in and log in and you sign electronically on the recap it yeah you got to do it from your own individual it has to be done but on an individual email not on like the assessor's email so um if you want to use your home emails it because it's just to log in and sign it's not like you're going to be getting um emails from anybody oh, oh okay right right yeah <laughs> I was just going to say, so everybody's going to, who's going to see our personal email? Just no one. To, I will. I'll have to double check that. I did notice on my, I put Zoom on a new thing and I had to put, enter my personal email address to be able to log on. So if it's only for that, I don't mind, but I don't want I will. You know, residents knowing my personal email address so they can blast. Yeah, so let me check, I'll, I'll check. I'll check with the town to see if they can assign you emails. Um, but I don't think- Well, I, if it's just a sign, seriously, one, what do we, we do it once a year? Yeah. And I have to have a special email for that? No, you don't have to. If you don't want to use your personal email, I can see if the town can give you an email. I think actually you already have a town email, I believe. Yeah, but I think I, I don't use it because I'm not up there much anymore. So right. it, it's kind of a, a obsolete item, you know? Yeah. And uh, I'm not so sure the police took it off their record. Yeah, I'll have to check with IT and 
and and Kristen. Um, All right. That's their new. So I wouldn't mind so if it, it's it, just you, me it signed gets in. Put, it gets put on their contact list, but I don't know if the public can see that. That's what I wanted to. The function. This functions as our contact list so that important DLS notifications are received by the proper officials in your municipality. Please ensure an individual email address is entered for each of your board members. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I have a problem using both my personal one if it's just to sign in once a year oh, and I'm not going to get things. Well, you know, you'll get, you'll get notification that you signed you'll get notifications from dls yeah but i don't want a notification every day on what the state's doing for me i don't believe so, you should yeah i don't okay. believe that's not the intent yeah well sometimes the intent gets mixed up with the actual function i'm gonna say so okay so you so look into that and we'll we'll get emails yeah and go from there. Okay. And Mike has looked over our sales report yeah. and um, we're at 82% of assessment to sales ratio. So for residential and 83% for condos and commercial, we only had one sale, so that doesn't even matter. So I was wondering, so that's like a 10% in, well, if you go, if you bring, if we bring our values in at 90%, 92%, that's a 10% increase. If we bring them in at 100%, that's an 18% increase. If, if we bring them in at 95%, that's a 13% increase. So last year, I think we, Usually we go for ninety five percent, but um, last year we were we aimed be for ninety two, ninety three percent. So I was wondering if you. So I'd rather see it at ninety five. Um, I don't. I don't know how. So if everything stayed the same, the, the taxes quote would go down a little bit, but the assess value would be a little more correct yes well oh. it depends yeah uh, i know but i i think uh what do we I, I did a quick look at the first couple of months in whatever year we're in now 24 for right. 23 and they're staying pretty level maybe they're still selling high they might be staying on the market longer but they're still getting the prices they want so yeah so i think we we ought to go for 95 um, you want to go that high i do i i think that's where we should be it's 92 to what 105 we should be at or it's uh, 110 to 85 oh okay well okay so i'd rather be at 95 that's well, unless somebody else says anything, Bev, you got anything to say or Raj? What what did we decide on last year? I, we went at 92 or 93. It, it, the goal was 92, 93. But if things are selling at a higher price, uh, I don't I don't think it looks that good that we're that far off. That's my issue. You know, I'd rather right, but be. But but ten percent's a big hit. But correct. But it's just the value on the house, right? Right. And what they spent the it. tax. The tax actually may be less, right? I didn't. The, I Your think the budget, the budget increased a little bit more than two and a half percent because of that school issue, I think. Okay, so, so your house value will be more correct, may not be exact, and then your taxes may be a, a little bit less. Instead of 1595, it's 
1502. I don't know. And but you maybe end up uh, the tax bill will be, I would think, relatively the same. However, if the school budget passed and you know we got to come up with 30 million, uh, it's going to be a little higher. So I don't know. That, that's yeah. That's I can, how, I'll look up what we did exactly last year if we okay. brought them in at 10 percent. Um, I just wanted you guys to start thinking about it, and hopefully by next meeting we can decide or I'll send you out an I'll send you out an email of what we did last year but okay. if, if 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 you all agree on 95 percent uh, it doesn't doesn't matter to me that's just my suggestion but if somebody wants to go higher or low we can talk about it I, I have no issue with it but I would think that's where I would like to be so Raj or Bev? Um, if Raj agrees, I'll agree. The 95. Uh, I don't really want to be the, you know. <laughs> it's all right. I don't, 94. You know. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's a lot better. Well, we jumped how much last year, you know what I mean? You gotta think I was gonna that. say, I think it, it was it was 10, 12 percent last year. I think we kept it at that at the 10 percent. But you know, I'm old and sometimes but again, I'd rather be have it assess for quote what it's worth. Yeah. Closer. You know, do I really want it? to be 75% of the house value? No, I don't think I do. So I would think I'd be at 95, but, you know, as a ballpark. We're not never gonna reach 95 because people are selling higher. Uh, oh yeah, you know. you're never gonna reach it. You're always, you're always, you're 18 months behind the actual. Right, so that's my comment. But you also don't want to, um, I'm going to relook at the 2023 sales to make sure they aren't dropping because you don't want to. Yeah, we don't want to do that, but if, I don't if, see it dropping. I just yeah. don't see it. And you just said maybe on the market a little longer, and but they're getting what they're asking for. And how close are we on the selling price to what we have it valued at? We're at 82%. Yeah, so, but that's that's for an average. So some are higher and some are lower. I think 82 mm -hmm. is too low. I'd go to, uh, all right, 94 or 95. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. We, um, Vision did an upgrade, which we did over the weekend. I haven't noticed. Well, actually, I didn't even use. Can't, I didn't use Vision today. Did you? Did you notice any weird things happening? No, I I was limited in what I did, but nothing weird happened. Okay. To me. Um. Oh. So. Kristen did look up to see if going with a vendor was exempt from procurement. And she said it wasn't. She sent an email out to um, me and Kevin. So you do have to go out for an RFP or a, or an IFB. She would recommend that you do an RFP would be the best practice. So that would take a little bit to get that up and organized if you wanted to take bids from outside firms. Yeah, and this is uh, in case we go with an outside firm. Right. Um, for, for which task? For replacing Me. Molly, I guess is how you'd re okay. look at it. Okay. I've talked to somebody already about it. I don't, you know. Um, just wondering. Yeah, no, that's so it'd be one day a week. And 
I, I don't know. I don't know what that time is or whatever, but we've been talking about it. And I'm just asking questions and they're aware of that. We're just yeah. asking. So I'm uh, a little bit familiar. Uh, so the, the, the thing I, I liked about it is they're one day a week. However, if you have a question, they'll respond to it in, you know, when they can. So might be a little rough for somebody at the counter, they are waiting for an answer. But if you sent the message and said, gee, I have someone at the counter waiting for an answer, they would maybe get right back. But it's not one day, it's one day and the calls or whatever or emails you need to send usually get answered in a reasonable amount of time. Do they so, come to the office one day a week? Uh, that is my understanding. So one day a week, someone would be there, pick a number, I'm guessing nine to four, nine to five, whatever. Okay. But that's the so person in another office on a different I'm sorry. Day? What was that? Person. What was that, Joanne? That same person who would be in our office on a Tuesday is somewhere different on a Wednesday. That's correct. Okay. Yep. A different town. Yep. But you also have to realize that all my workload is going to go onto the office staff. The, the besides just the valuation side of it, I'm assuming that the person that you talked to was just talking doing valuation issues. I not, did not, not. I did. I did not see it like that. Okay, because they. I did not see it like that. So, I don't know. Uh, they. I don't know. I, I don't think it's just the valuations. I think it's the everyday uh, things that they, come up that they how can handle. They do every day if they're only there once a week. Uh, again, so somebody will have to email them and ask them a question and get an answer. I assume they have access to the computer remotely. Something needs to be done. So. This day and age, uh, you know, uh, uh, that, that's my understanding. That's as far as I've gotten with it. So, yep. So we've gotten four applications. Three are from Indeed, and one is from, I'm assuming, the MAAO website, because one of them is a working assessor. Um, okay, so where so are question, those? They're right here in my hand. <laughs> okay, and your um, my question. At home. To, yeah, at home. My question to you is: if um, you wanted to spend seventy five dollars and put it out on the Mass Municipal site. Um, I would really like to review the whatever we have so far. Okay. That's what I'd really like to do. Get my hands on those, read those. I mean, they were there tonight. I don't know why we couldn't look at them, but if they're not there, they're not there. So um, I will see I, if I can print them out for you there. While uh, you're there. Well, let's. I don't know. Give me a minute on that one. What? Okay. Um. What? What I don't again, want like, is to... like Kristen said, we don't want to necessarily talk about it here. That's why she recommended the yeah. the selection yeah. committee. Yeah. No, I don't want to talk about them here. However, if they were in the office, yeah, and I happen to sit down and read them. Yep, you can come in and read them. I don't think that would be an issue. So, yeah. All right. Uh, June has know. June has passed out the um, year end stuff, so we'll be working on that too. It's 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 not quite that big of a booklet, but there's a lot of things you have to go through. 
And Tom Andrews came in about um, the Many Hands Thrift Shop, whatever that across from. The thrift shop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they got a personal property tax bill and I was gonna see if I could um, do an eight of 58 on it because they're exempt because the church runs it and it and they use that money for youth. Of, I don't know what they use it for, but they use it for the church. So I was gathering my information and come to find out they paid the bill. So we can't ask for an eight of 58. You can only ask for an eight of 58 if it's unpaid. So it's going to be exempt going forward, but we can't do anything for FY23. We can't rebate want, them? No, nope, they didn't file an abatement application. And okay. like I said, I was gonna try and do the eight of 58, but they paid the bill. So I okay. can't All do right. that. Um, and I called Tom and left him a voicemail message that that happened. And he didn't say, he didn't, I didn't hear back from him. So okay. I'm assuming that he's, they're okay with it. Well, what are you going to do now? Right. You know, so I don't, I don't have an answer on that. That's too bad. Well, we'll look to see how much it is too, but okay. Um, and then I wanted uh, a while ago, we had discussed, I had told you that Joanne wanted to write a memo to the fire department, at least to see if we could get into, find out when they do yeah. sales, fire That's leads. Right. So the guy, I forget his name, was up, I found him oh, in the no. building. In, what's his name? Jo the fireman? Yeah. John Paulino? John. I found John and Rich out in the hallway one day, so I made them come in. And John has been notifying you when he gets yes. fire. Four. Four already. <laughs> <laughs> that's huge. So it that's is. Out good. But, um, Rich still doesn't agree that we need to be told when a occupancy permit is issued. But he's leaving also, he's retiring. So maybe the new inspector will be able to get on him sooner and yeah, yeah, and get stuff done that way. <laughs> he did send me a few. Rich sent me a few now and then over time. But yeah, but but, but there's also not, not, that. not consistently. I usually get them. Okay. Uh, so maybe we work on that with the new uh, building inspector. So if we yeah. have to go to a meeting and ask him in public, when he becomes the building inspector, would he allow us to do that? Well, the previous building inspector, we had a slot on the certificate. Yeah. To sign off. Right. And we were removed from it when. Um, yeah. The new one came on. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, um, th some people have their ways. Yep. So. Yep. And that's fine. It doesn't help our room. Yep. Another. Well, we have one avenue, so we can stick with that for now. And if that's good and working, that's terrific. Yeah. That's for sales, not for building permits. That's for sales. Right. But uh, it's, it's still something. something. Right. Yeah. Yep. Um, who who's going to those? Are you going, Joanne? To the inspections? Uh to yes. Yes, I, I would go. He sends me the addresses and a contact number. Okay. Um, I go. Just, I'm just thinking out of the blue, maybe Maureen should be able to know how to do that or not. Would, you know, if you weren't available, I'm just saying, would... Um, uh, you don't have to answer it, I just a know. thought. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know if she wants to. I don't know if that's her thing right right but it, it was just she an knows. idea so if someone else in the office you know you all of a sudden can't go at yeah. you know 10 30 she could go give you the notes and we'd have at least somebody out in the field getting it done so to speak and i, I don't know you even know if that would that. work 
I don't even know and if that would work. We're, we're, the, we're gonna have to sit, the office staff is gonna have to sit down and go yeah. over some, um, some of the things that take up a lot of time and figure out who's gonna be point person and all that. Cause since Rose been gone and we've been um, bringing Maureen up to speed, I think that Joanne and I are still holding on to some Rose stuff that we need to make sure Maureen needs to do. Is that how you? There's a, there's a few things. She's, I mean, she's gotten a lot of them. Yeah. From, from my, my chunk. Good. So, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to let them go. <laughs> well, it is. You have to, you have to well, babysit them because uh, if they mess up, how you got to go back to the beginning. <laughs> That's true, uh, but no, she, but, yeah, yeah. Okay. She has her routine. What I'm trying to do in my short time is get the, get the value set and the new growth set and um, make sure that there's nothing that I'm keeping secret that I really don't mean to keep secret. Like who came in the other day and I said, oh good, listen. <laughs> because sometimes it, um, it unless it come, you do it once or twice a year. Oh, and, yes. But you don't necessarily, until it comes up. What was it that came in that, that was the other day? I'll have to think about it because it only came up the once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll tell you next June. When yeah again <laughs> yeah yeah okay so anything else joanne you think you've noticed or about about the office and how things are working and um they're rolling along doing um i mean i with with jack gonna be gone that's more inspections i'll have to squeeze in so yeah the, we'll have to the um, less time having to track down phone numbers and who and when i mean if if the building department and the fire department can feed me those things then i can go do the cyclicals in between yeah, well, we'll get. Um, so if it all works and flows, yeah. Right, but Jack did say he would come back in between, and he—I don't think he really felt he was up to it. No, he. Saying, so. Yeah. Yeah. So he. So, oh, so we waiting for him just to heal up, and then come back, or is he out? And I thought we had somebody in the meantime who would do them. He's. He's uh, he he thought he would be able to come back, so I didn't pursue that very far. So he he's came done. back. He and came he did back. a batch, but his his uh, not his hips that were fixed. His um, his legs began to bother him, getting up and down, measuring in and out of the car. He said uh, he didn't think it was going to be um, feasible. <laughs> okay, so I uh, I didn't know all this. I didn't know that. I just this thought just just this week. This just came up. Okay. All right. Last week. Um, so maybe we ask him if if he's out, he's out, or maybe he can do two a day instead of five. And no. I don't know if that's even on the table for him to do that. I got the I impression that he's done. Okay. Did so that same impression. I think he's I did. Yeah. Okay. So would it be worth the one call to say, Jackie, you're all done? We, sure. you know, we don't want to cut you out or yeah, whatever. I, I just like to have him say, I'm done, you know? <laughs> That's but, fine. Yeah, I could do that. that okay. So let's, that. let's start with that. So now we know, you know, whether he can do them or he can't. And we had somebody else who was available, didn't we? No, I haven't been able to find anybody. I called around and asked people, but we'll have to put out some kind of a um, okay. A thing on 
All right. I don't, I don't know how or where, but yeah. Okay. Uh, my error, I, I didn't realize that. I thought we had somebody on the hook who would do them. And I thought it was about the same price and whatever. But no, if not can, unless you know somebody. No, I, I thought we were getting them, but my error. Okay. No, the people the people I called, there there is there is one company I could call that does cyclical work. Um I can I'll give them a call and see what they say they would charge and how long they think it would take. Yeah. But I tried, I tried my assessor, my, my assessor network of people who I know who do pickup work and none of them were interested um, or had enough pickup work to do. So. Wow. Amazing. Well, there's a lot um, of, there's a lot of people that do cyclical pickup work. So um, I, I know. Yeah. Why well, I'm saying I never thought there would be a shortage of them. You know? Well, they're just hard to find. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um and I'm waiting for a bill from Mike for the appellate to oh, that's right. We've gotten appellate tax board cases. We've got one from 183 Randall Road. We got one from the mall. We got one from Sears. We And we got one from the solar people for FY23. Um, and those all have dates on them when we nope. need to do that? Oh, and... and um, no, not yet. They have not. They've just filed. Okay. And, and um, Estabrook. Zakari from Estabrook. The people oh, is that, that the guy? The, the people that we went to court with before and they, they knocked down his assessment a little. Uh, did we put it back up? Um, probably. Good. Good. Okay. So, so those are two budget things I'm waiting on. And uh, so we have over $8,000 left in the budget as of as of today. Good. All right. Well, and, looks, like we're, looks like we're going to be spending some going to court. So, well, no, that won't be till next year. Yeah, well, I'll hopefully we can carry it over till next year. I'll put no, more you in. You can't carry it over. Okay. No carryovers, you give it back. It's all right. Okay. And so then um, I, have, I, had, I have signed up for the summer conference because I had the scholarship and Kevin wanted to talk about it tonight um i'm trying to change my reservation just for two days two nights um because that hotel valuation is there and then the dor is giving an update on everything that you need to know going forward for reval and interim and and stuff and i'd like to leave at least something for the next person of, of their guidelines, if they're changing their guidelines. Okay. So anybody yeah. have anything to say here about this or? Well, I kind of wanted to ask a question of, I thought at one time we had set a precedent that if somebody wanted to go to something, they would have fill out a form and we would approve it. Ma, this MAAO summer annual thing wasn't presented to us that way. We were kind of told that she wanted to go. I don't see how it would help the town of Berlin if she's leaving a few weeks after, but I'm willing to say if she wants to attend, 
and she wants to use her own vacation time, maybe go that route. But I think she's needed in the office, you know, especially seeing that she's leaving because there's got to be a ton of things she just said she has to talk to everybody in the office to figure out who's going to do what and you know they're going to be taking stuff off of her plate so i that's my personal feeling i i don't ever remember filling out a form to attend a conference i verbally tell you when all the education no but we asked you to like well over a year ago to if you anybody wanted to attend something that you fill out a request form and it gets approved before it's taken upon you know to just attend without the board's approval Raj, you have anything to say or? I, I don't know about the approval form. I know at any conference she's ever gone to, she's told us basically she was going. And so I, I, I don't know about the form. Okay. Um, well, uh, Molly, if you want to talk about this, uh, what happened this morning in there? You, I don't, no, I asked you to come in and sign a payable for the for the cost because I had told you about it at last meeting and I right. you didn't tell me not to go. So I had signed up and made the reservation. Well, um, I can't tell you not to go. I, I would never say that you you can you're free to go wherever you want to go. Um, it's just how much is the town responsible for for paying for that? I guess as it boils down, you know. I'm that's how I guess we're looking at it. You know. Um, again. I know last month uh, you told me you were going to do it on your own. From my understanding, you weren't working that week. That's fine. Well, yeah, but However, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I told you that I was taking the town computer because I was going to be working at the conference, and but I was paying for it from my by, from my form. I was paying for it myself because it was out of state travel. but you don't you don't have the same recollection that i have so um i don't i don't have the same recollection i clearly do not so again i don't know what in in state or out of state does and um i don't know i i didn't sign the payroll because you were gone for the week from my understanding that's all. But you're welcome to go and use whatever time you have. You, uh, If you have vacation days left, right. I don't know what the town's going to get out of it. And you're leaving in, I don't know, 16 work days from when you come back. 16 days. Th that's, uh, I, don't, yep. I don't know. I, I'm just... Somebody needs to help me out to say they don't Doesn't see it. Doesn't make sense. Way. I see it okay. your way, Kevin. I don't know. If it was a new hire, yes, I would see that because they would learn things. And we're proud of Molly for, you know, accomplishing winning the scholarship and willing to say she's welcome to go on her own dime. Right. You know? And I, I'm not sure this uh, this firm does all their own um, commercial real estate. So, you know, nursing home, hotels, 
uh, uh, whatever, Highland Commons East, they do all that. I don't know if they do. I, I'm under the impression they have people that do that. So, you know, if, with you going to the meeting, I don't know what Berlin gets out of it. So this is why we're at this. Okay. Whatever we're at. I'm not sure what, what we're at or where we're at. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We'll have to. I guess the scholarship only pays for your registration. Correct. What type of scholarship is that? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I don't just, uh, yeah. And, and I'm with Bev, I'm, I'm happy that you've kept up all your stuff. You, you've done a wonderful job for us. It just, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure. So. Okay. Oh, uh, the, the, the other thing that came up today in, um, was comp time. You mentioned to me that you have comp time. Yeah. And Joanne has comp time from coming to was, her. From when Rose was out. Right. We still haven't used it and we paid Joanne got paid for comp time, but there, the municipal government doesn't work that you get paid for overtime because it's not in the budget. She, what's in the budget is for her 25 hours a week for 52 weeks. So then it, if, you, if Joanne's working on a project and she doesn't wanna leave in the middle of it, she wants to finish it up at a half an hour, like any, twice a week. Any given Tuesday. <laughs> I'm not out the door at 2 15. I promise you that. Any day. It piles up. So um Okay, so wait, wait a minute here. So without Rose in the office, uh my misunderstanding was wouldn't there be money for Joanne to pick up if she needed to work more? Rose was out on um, family medical leave, so she was getting paid. So is that the same pocketbook or is that a different pocketbook? I don't know that. Well, it was her pocketbook versus Joanne's pocketbook, but <laughs> she did. we did use Rose's salary money to pay for some of Joanne's there was time. some of it there was some of it there was some of it but we had to balance what rose was getting with what was left in the budget right but uh, you know if, if there's an issue like this i don't know why a year later we're talking about it you know you go into the town administrator or somebody or selectman and say look at we have an issue we have a girl out someone's standing up to bat to help out She's going to need more hours for the next eight weeks. We did. I don't know we, why. I, you know, so I told Margaret, and I also told you at the time that we were pick, we were doing extra hours. I did. I did get some in some of the weeks last year. I did get some extra, but then the the time continues to, you know, ebb and flow. And right now there's a there's a little pile of it. So well then I guess I don't know. I, to me, you, you need I guess if the you know you just said we got eight thousand bucks in one pot, why don't we put it in another? Now that's my thinking. That seems to be simple, yeah. solves the problem. We probably can't do that. Yeah, it's However, not municipal finance. If, if you're an hourly person working, you should get paid, quote, for the hours you work, all right? I don't know that someone can get comp time on an hourly basis, and I don't know how someone on salary 
can also get a comp time. But there's a disconnect. I can't, I can't see that. So, you know, I understand your comment, you know, uh, you use vacation days, but you said, gee, I had comp time. Uh, that, uh, I just didn't get that connection, Molly, with comp time. Huh? On a salary well, position. I, I was probably working 37 to 40 hours a week and you pay me for 33. Right, but uh, yeah. So there's okay. two things, in my view, there's two things here. There's not enough, uh, your, the hours that you are in the assessor's office is not getting the job done without those extra hours. Okay, so if you have 33 hours, that is for four days, that's pretty much an eight hour day. So mm -hmm. to me, that's nine to five, 15, nine to five, 15, four days a week. Nine to five, 15. So I don't know if there's no extra time. I realize sometimes more than others, but I, you know, if you leave at three, that is your, your choice. But you got to say, gee, now I'm leaving at three and uh which may not happen very often you know and but i had to stay the other night so it's kind of a give and take i don't yeah. know you could, i don't know you can draw a line in the sand saying well you know they owe me 200 hours of comp time no i that's not what i was saying i was saying that i've worked extra hours here and there yes just like that it's give and take so i would give and take for me to go to a, a conference, I'm still on the, I'm still working. I'm checking my emails. I'm ans calling, answering phone calls, answering questions, not, not for nine hours, but because I was in class. Right. But that's what I, I meant for the give and take. Yes. When I first got hired there I worked a lot of extra hours trying just trying to figure out what everything was and where everything was right so wouldn't we have cleaned up comp time from seven years ago uh, are we going it, back that it. far yeah not all of it <laughs> I don't I I just said I still I you know give it the give and flow right here and there right when you go out to lunch, nobody says anything. So you get a little back. And unfortunately, yep. you had to stay Monday night or Wednesday for personnel. That, that's no, how it works. I, I don't know I, that you conceal all this comp time from seven years ago to say, you know, gee, but that's the position of the job, I guess. And I, I might be missing the whole thing. I don't no, know. No, I, I so, just, when I've, kept track of my hours because I don't think that it should it if every other department head's job is 40 hours then why isn't this position 40 hours because you keep it you, you keep take we keep taking on new things like that new committee is going to be the AFT group and what, all that stuff when do I, they I'm, meet? I'm not saying so when do they meet the aft whoever they are the administrative finance team that um kristen was telling you about during budget season we might meet every day but but you're at but, work right right yeah no i'm okay. not saying so let's just forget the overtime. I'm just saying that I was keeping track of the hours so that if to to let the board know that there's oh. more hours worked than what you have the job posted for. But I, but I on the I other hand, it. I don't want to work more hours. <laughs> so <laughs> well, but, but I'm saying if someone you want to work someone else hours. comes. If if somebody else comes in, 
and you're gonna you're gonna say all right this is a 33 hour position job and they end up working 40 hours a week they're not going to be happy i'm just overall since we're just having this discussion yeah so i don't know if the administrative finance team takes too much time away and you have to stay at the end of the day no, it's, it's, it ebbs and flows. There's busy times and there's non-busy times. Like I'm not going to um, say, oh, it's 4.15, I have to go because while I'm doing a billing update or something like that, but I right. usually don't, I usually don't not come in the next day or come in late. I usually work the same stuff. It's just me. So it's, I, I don't, I, I don't know. So somebody else I think, can. I think uh, there's can, a difference between salary and um, hourly. A salary person is expected to work what it takes to do the job where like Joanne's hourly, if she works extra hours, she should be compensated for her time because she's an hourly person. That's the way it's always been. What? Through my administrative what? office manager career. I just wanted to know if Joanne has been what? compensated for all her hours. What? Not all of it. But so, you, you have been keeping track of it or? I have. <laughs> okay. It's I all. have. How much comp time do we owe you? At this moment? Yes. Today, about 22 hours. Okay. But, you know. Well, you have conscientious workers who it's very extra difficult. hours. It's difficult to just put my pen down if I'm in the middle of something at 2.15. Right and walk it's like oh my god you know i'm so close i'm just gonna finish this and then a half hour might go by or more but that project now i can close and start something new the next day not right. always right. but you know a stopping point and that's how it happens and it happens kind of regularly you know so and this this amount of hours is over how much time well, it's it goes up and down. I mean, I might I might have a dentist appointment, and then I take a few of those for that, and I might have right. as 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 would ex be expected. Well, that's that's but, what it is. That's the pile. So so I wasn't the kind of money. <laughs> just want to make sure I I can get the time back for the extra. That's all. Right. My right. but but now. You know, you didn't punch out to go to the dentist, right? Right, but she subtracts that. I take right. it out. So I take that it off the good. List. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's what comp, good. That's but what comp know. time is. That's how you use comp time. Right, right. So 22 hours is over. What? Uh, how long have you worked for us? Uh, five years. For five, five years? years. Oh, wow, yeah. it's been that long already, Joanne. Yeah, seems like last week, gets, doesn't it? She gets, she gets three weeks vacation this year, starting July. So, Did how do does it work? Can she put in for overtime? Molly? No, because there's no money in the salary. There's the salary line items are the salary line items and you, you can't put in or take out. When when Rose was there, there was some money left over, which we did pay her for her comp time. We gave, uh, gave. The, the, you know, that, so that comes up to about 4.4 .4 hours a year. If you go over five years, so, well, it didn't. Uh, if if it that happens, mm -hmm. huh? Go ahead. What? 
No, I said the, the number goes up and down. Like I had a doctor's appointment a week or two back and I had a dentist appointment as it would happen. And then it went down. And then, but then I had a project last week and it went up again, you know, so it just, it moves around depending on what's happening. So right. these 22 hours could be just in the last year, could Joanne. Be. Yep. Okay. Yes, it could be. Okay. All right. Uh, is there a way we can compensate for this in the future? Is well our salary? Well, we you have to we're go. We're going to do that. We're we're going to deduct when she leaves because you you can't this pro this program I don't have an issue with, you know, but well that's how contact I've done the same thing. Um, to answer your question, if the next budget go around, if she keeps her, and I know she keeps track of all her hours, you might want to look at that and increase the hours, but I don't think she wants her hours increased. So oh, you can come in Friday. Be great. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> I'm with you. But, but, but I would work later on the days that need to be worked. Right. But you also go to the dentist. But I, so sometimes I have to go to the dentist, and that's I have. Right. To to, we all the, have to go uh, to the doctor. See, so yeah, so that's that's and, fine. It's not like we owe you, you know, eight hundred hours of comp time here. No, no, and the word we kind of use the word flex, not rather than comp. It's kind yeah. of, it's more flex like time. some day, right? Some days yep. you need a little at this end of the day and some days you need a little at that end of the day right what which is fine next week I, I have no issue with that whatsoever um but molly how much time do we owe you in quote it's whatever like flex time. time or whatever it's probably like 25 hours i mean it's it's been way up there during tax bill season and abatement season and then it's been way down when I have doctor's appointment or whatever um, right if I if I have to be gone the whole day I will take a sick time to do a doctor's appointment because my doctors are down here and sometimes it doesn't make sense to drive back and forth but right. so I'll but just that, take the day that um, to me is definition of a salaried employee yep okay all right um anybody have anything else I, I don't know how we get on that okay <laughs> so bev do you want to finish up saying something or no, no i'm i'm all set okay. i did what well, wait a minute i do have one question why does the assessors have to print out the tax bills when there's a tax person tax collector we and don't treasurer we don't print out the tax bills. We it's do like, the billing. We do the bill. We do the billing transfer file. We have to give get him the values into his system, and that falls on us. Is there a way that could fall on them, Molly? No, you wouldn't. No, because okay. there are values. You wouldn't want them to. Okay, you I was just thinking it goes it, across. It would lighten. You want to make sure the values well. go across correctly. So um, that's just okay. our side of it. And then, then we all have to balance, even though you balance beforehand, somehow when it goes over there, it doesn't balance anymore. So you have to figure out where- the error is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the exemptions and all that stuff get put on the bills and- small commercial exemption. It's just, there's a, there's a lot of cogs to that wheel. Okay. Okay, anybody else have anything or Are we good? I'm good. Somebody wanna make a motion to end the meeting? I motion. Okay. 709.